what is going on you guys it is me it is she it is vera taurus they can't ignore us that's right baby it is your girl it is scorpio red Sero. i am back at it again just like i promised um just to let you guys know you guys have two um i believe it is inner self-guidance message I, like I told y'all in the other video, I got sick when I was recording you guys' videos. So I had to take a break for about like a week. <laughs> so I am back at it. Um, I didn't know where I left off. I couldn't remember if I made a love video or inner self-guided message video. I believe now that I'm looking at the titles that it was an inner self-guidance message. So you guys will have two inner self-guidance message as well as this love reading because I couldn't remember what the hell I was doing. But that's a blessed bonus for you guys. So this is the love portion. We're going to find out what's currently going on with you guys in love. Again, this is a timeless reading. Uh, so whenever you guys see this video is whenever you need to receive the message. So Taurus, we're about to get into this energy. Um, You know, before we do that, I want to give a shout out to all my OGs. I want to give a shout out to all my newbies. To every last one of my babies for like, sharing, subscribing, clicking this video and supporting my channel. Um, we want to give a quick shout out to Father God before we do anything. We got to give him praise and acknowledgement. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Taurus. You know that they can't ignore us. Please give the sign of Taurus the collective love energy that they need to receive today. Please uh, make the love that they're calling into their life powerful, strong, um, and just have a lot of strong love passion and longevity make it last forever father god make it grow 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 in every year <laughs> every year this person um that tourist calls into their life let them find something new every year that they fall in love with um let us strengthen the love that we currently have in our life and for the singles please let them call in the greatest love of all in jesus name amen amen and amen all right all right let's get into this y'all if y'all hear me having to clear my throat, anything like that, I'm still, you know, trying to get all of this congestion up out of me. So let me take a sip of my good old old long tea. All right, let's get into this. All right, let's see what we got for Taurus and love. What do we have currently going on? <laughs> Why when I looked at my wall, my eyes went straight to money. <laughs> Like Taurus in love with money right now. Okay. Look, Taurus said, I'm in love with the money. Taurus said, I'm in love with the money, honey. What's going on with my Taurus in love? Oop. That's too much. Give me three cards. What's going on currently in love? Okay. Put that right back. What was that? Photographs. Okay. But I guess it went back. So I guess. Taurus doesn't have to look at the photographs no more, okay? You got seduction. All right. Maybe you don't have to look at the photographs no more, okay? Damn, y'all falling all out on the floor. Woo, stabbed in the back. What? Oh, God damn. Is that why you falling all out on the floor? You want to look at them pictures no more? Oh, I just heard him to confront the situation. That sounds like some Taurus shit in the door. Really? Do I even want to look at this? I just want, okay, can I just get one card? I'm just going to put that there. I'm just going to leave it there. One card. Oh, and it's still not one card. Okay, we got ascending and self-indulgence. Hmm. And a palm tree. You got the little shade going on under there. So I want to say... First message that I'm getting, I want to say that there could have been a point where you guys um, stop looking at someone's profile, like their profile picture, their page or something like that. I want to say like someone could have been looking to see if this person was stabbing them in the back and, and like seducing someone else or being seduced by someone else. But I feel like you don't have to look anymore. I really do feel like you don't have to look anymore. It's like uh, with the self-indulgence and ascending. It's like you don't want to 
continual repeated pattern and it's like I don't want to look at it as something that doesn't involve me or like yeah something doesn't involve me anymore so you could have been going through a little point where it's like you were constantly looking at someone's profile or someone was constantly looking at your profile to see if someone is in the comments trying to seduce you if you were backstabbing them and everything like that but it's like I don't I don't I'm ascending I don't have to do that anymore let's see what the hell this is over here we got heartbroken kisses and consent I'm now I'm hearing this song um <laughs> I don't feel like singing right now because my voice is messed up, but it goes, um, young, sad, and blue, cause we're, f cause we're through. And they're saying, you know what, I gotta sing it, it goes, young, sad, and blue, cause we're through, and no one's gonna, no one's gonna love you so young, sad, and remember what song or what video where that came from young sad and blue that's all i keep hearing cause we're through that's all i'm hearing it's like someone keeps repeating it's like some thoughts or something keeps being played over and over and over in somebody's head it's like the last words that somebody said is something that someone did or something like that. Their kisses or... Mmm. I honestly... Okay, so I just heard you get that shit off the table. Okay. <laughs> That's hard. I don't want no fight with you. <coughs> someone said get that shit off the table right now. No, but honestly, I think, and because this is, I'm ascending, I don't, I haven't been looking at that shit no more. I don't care about that anymore. It's like I need fresh energy. Maybe that was a place where Taurus was at. <laughs> like, I really never done a reading where y'all told me get that shit off the table. <laughs> Look at them love just fell out. Love. Okay, Taurus said I'm in love right now. I'm not focus on that okay we're just going we're just going okay and then you got engagement ring at the bottom of the deck okay Taurus I see why y'all did that and then lightning well I feel like it could be some type of shocking announcement and then you, I see the girl with the snake at the bottom that being in the reverse hmm 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 Let's see what we got going on, y'all. Because y'all being a little feisty today. <laughs> y'all being feisty today. Y'all focus on new love energy. And I feel like you guys know exactly who it is. Exactly who I'm talking about. I just heard some, some people may be surprised about your involvement with somebody. And possibly like how serious it is with this engagement ring and the love. It's like I just heard people thought that you would never pick this individual. Maybe really different. I did just hear it was like okay that first spread that just came out. And then as soon as I picked this up, why is the Eight of Cups in the reverse at the bottom? Okay, so there was somebody that walked away. I want to say like for good this time. And someone was constantly going back, looking at the pictures, looking at someone's online personality type of thing like that. Like what they're doing online, looking at the last messages that someone said. But it's like I had to do that to, to to get over. I had to. I want to say it's like someone had to do that to get over the person. I'm kind of like that too. Like I know it probably doesn't make any sense. But me being the Scorpio that I am like. I If, if someone did. Okay. 
here's an example. That's just like I had an ex that cheated on me with a coworker. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had a job that I helped this motherfucker get. Like, you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker wouldn't even have met the bitch if I didn't, you know what I'm saying, want something better for this motherfucker. And I put an application in for this person at this job. And he cheated on me with a coworker. And it really hurt me. And I'm like a type of person. I, it's like shock trauma. <laughs> like, I'll just wake up one day like, I don't want to do this no more. And then... I would later I'll be like, did I really just break up with this motherfucker? No, bitch, you really did. So like deal with it. You just you know what I'm saying? So it was like shock trauma type of thing like that. So it could have been something that happened suddenly. You feel what I'm saying? But even on the outside looking in, it could have looked like, okay, I just abruptly broke up with this person. Like, it didn't hurt me. Like, I'm just moving on. Like, nothing happened. That's the way it looks on the outside. But on the inside, I was constantly looking at this person's uh, Facebook, looking at their Instagram. Um, and eventually that person was like posting pictures with, with a bitch was posting pictures with my um, ex at that time. Like, I mean, it was fresh. It was like this bitch was rubbing it in my face. Like, bitch, I stole your man. Like, all of that stuff. And even though it hurt and it kind of felt like self-abuse, I had to make myself watch that shit. I had to see it because it's like I could not allow my brain to, to play tricks with me because I really love the person and just because someone do something to hurt you that don't mean that your heart stop loving that motherfucker as irrational as it seems like your heart just don't turn off but if I if I would have not had forced myself to look at something that was ultimately destroying me on the inside I would have allowed my emotions to placate into the bullshit of well maybe we could work this out or you know like put myself in a place where I would have made myself feel like it was my fault or it was something to fight for no it wasn't you know what I'm saying like I made myself see that bitch try to clown me online I ain't say nothing I ain't do nothing I kept it quiet I kept it real cute. I kept it on mute. But on the inside, that shit hurt. And I made myself look at that shit every fucking day and cry that shit out. So, no, bitch, this is real. This motherfucker did this. Don't. You know what I'm saying? And then just one day, I, 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 I couldn't. It's not that I couldn't look at it no more. I had no need to look. I like This, it, this shit didn't hurt no more. Like, the motherfuckers already rubbed it in my face. Like, the motherfucker already left me and did what he did. Like, what, what? You know what I'm saying? I promise you, had I not done that, when the motherfucker did come back and try to play with me, because, you know, they, they'll try to yo-yo you between you and another bitch or whatever, whatever. If I would have not forced myself to consume the reality, I'd have let that motherfucker play with me. Do you feel what I'm saying? So, I hope I'm kind of making sense. I know it may sound crazy, but for me and my Scorpio mind, I'm the type of person, I'm scared of needles, but I can't get my blood drawn without looking at the, the shit going in. I can't turn my head, and nah, I need to see that bitch coming. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's, like, I know it probably makes no sense. It probably makes no sense. But, like, that's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. It's like... Someone had to consume the reality. It, like, look, no, that shit hurt. That shit hurt. And now I don't hurt no more. I don't even... Even if I was to see the shit, it would mean nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I focus in on new love. Like, new shit is coming to me. Like, I, I'm, I'm focusing on something real. You know? So it's like real love for real. So it could be something that's like developing very very fast very fast very fast it's like it says sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval transformation so hmm let's see oh okay you got the high priest this is just popped out hmm maybe keeping it on the low low
I heard this is a very patient and um, focused individual. <clears throat> I feel like this person don't talk a lot or don't tell a lot of people about their personal business. Like, you're very mysterious. It's like, you might know that this person is talking to or entertaining someone, but it's like you'll never guess who. Why I'm seeing the mystery game of Guess Who? Y'all remember? I love that game. Y'all remember Guess Who? <laughs> Why am I seeing Guess Who? Like, is he light-skinned? No. Put all the light-skinned people down. Does he have a mustache? Yes. All right, everybody that's a bald face, put them down. Like, it, <laughs> my mother, like this is a game of Guess Who? Ace of Wands? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's magnetic too. It's popping, and when I want to say like the sex is long and strong, someone could be having very very. Well, I'm seeing very long, passionate sex scenes. It's passionate. Ooh, y'all. Ooh, ooh, y'all so nasty, Taurus. Why am I seeing someone taking? It's like it's missionary, and it's like they slowly like. Leading that motherfucker all the way up through your spinal curve, bitch. It's like, oh my god. It's like, yeah, you feel that? Oh, you feel. And it's just, ooh! Why y'all being nasty like this this early in the morning, Taurus? This motherfucker just said, I'm gonna make you cry for Jesus. Yes, God! Make me do it! <laughs> upon this dick patiently. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh-uh, I ain't telling everybody all my business. Everybody want my dick. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's something new. It's something new. And I like how you, you see how you got that dark candle and that, and that light candle. So it's a very balanced... Very, very balanced. It's like you guys been showing each other's each other's pleasant and naughty side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's like, oh man. It's like someone could bring out the devil in the bed. It's like like she's a devil in a skirt. <laughs> like what? It's like you would never fucking think of what is hidden behind this perfect persona. It's like something Ooh, ooh! I just heard of something mysterious lurking and lurking, and I want inside. It's like I want inside, and then you got the three of wands. Oh my god! Oh my god! And you talk about transition and happiness is awaiting on you. Oh baby, this is movement. This is someone showing up on time, never late. Okay, showing up on time. Listen, blessings show up on time, never late. I feel like don't be talking to everybody about this new, about this. Don't be, t don't be telling everybody about the new. Don't do it. And it's not even about you enjoying anything in secret. I feel like it's not nobody's business. I want to say it's like somebody gets really busy in the fucking sheets. I mean, really get down. Somebody got some skills. Someone got some hidden motherfucking talents. Okay? I am reloaded. Do you understand? Someone is really getting to see the inter light and dark side. Look at them candles. Do you see them candles? Oh, bitch. Ooh. We. No wonder why Taurus said, oh, put that, get, get that other shit up out of here. Get that other shit up out of here. I got a secret, okay? I got a secret. Let's see if you can keep it, baby. <laughs> Woo oh, this motherfucker showed up on time. On time. Mm -hmm. I've been sitting there being very patient, talking to God, because listen, the three of wands is when you leaving everything at the wayside. You going bayside, okay? You are going to the bayside. You been waiting for your ship to take you bayside. Leaving all that other shit at the wayside. You are going bayside, girl. Okay, come on. Come on. 
Yes. Sir. Look, you see how those three sticks are down? You see how the sticks is down? You see how that shit is, is no movement? Hmm. I, I feel like someone can't find you. It's like you're in a new location. And this ain't no vacation. You're in a new location and this is not no vacation. Like this is permanent. Like you're permanently moving. And again, it's like all of this travel and movement. The Ace of Wands is travel. So you may be moving. And you're so excited and happy and overjoyed and uplifted about all of this shit. What is going on? And you got the ring at the bottom? And look at this. What is this looking like? Ain't this looking like a new home? New look. Commitment. Like, it get shut your fucking mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. Mm -mm. Look. <laughs> and then why I said I am. You seen how that invitation. It's like certain people is not being invited to this engagement party. <laughs> Said, take that shit out and leave it exactly but look, look. <laughs> you got the bed <laughs> put the mask on y'all stop this shit y'all why is y'all not inviting people I want to say like this is a private engagement this is this shit is private it's private I want to say it's like, a, um, it, it's not that you guys like keeping anything a secret. It's like only certain people are invited. I'm like, I'm not about to go out and announce like I'm in a new relationship. I'm engaged. We just moved our West bubble fuck by the woods. We got all these acres. We about to build a farm and <laughs> shit. We creating businesses and shit. Everybody don't need to know our fucking business. Like, no, no fuck this invitation only. <laughs> this is invitation only. What is this? You got the moon. <clears throat> and then you got the book. Okay. I just heard learning a lot about each other and, and, and finding out about what's inside. You see how the, the, the rabbit is um, creating a moon of cheese? That would look like cheese. Look like cheese. I just heard crescent. Like a croissant. That do sound bomb and shit like a croissant stuffed with cheese. <laughs> <coughs> well, I feel like you guys may be a foodie. Or just be a creative person in general. Well, I feel like you guys connect with food. I don't know why I'm getting like um, a recipe cookbook or something like that. I just heard an explosion of taste in your mouth. I feel like someone can really, really cook. Someone may be starting like a their own cookbook or something. I just heard fantasy too. Because you know the moon does represent like fantasy, mystery, intrigue. Okay, so I feel like what makes this relationship deep is because of like some type of fantasy and intrigue about each other. It's like you guys like delving into each other's inner secrets. Like you're, it's like you guys get tangled up in, in each other's inner web. I just heard like an inner web of entanglement. Um, not in a bad way. It's like, have you ever just went on the internet and start researching something and you go down the rabbit hole and then next thing you know, like you in too deep. <laughs> and it's like you can't get your way out of it because even though it's just like, well, damn, how the fuck did I get here? But then you see something else and it's like you go deeper and deeper and deeper. It's like you're all the way sucked in, but you are like you got this treasure trove of information or just like this galaxy of stuff that you're inspired by 
It's like you might go get another book or you might end up uh, uh, buying like the whole series or something. So it's like, I want to say like how you met this person is because you were invited into like a little piece of somebody. Like it, it was like an open door, like a cracked door or something. Like you've seen a cracked door. It's like someone could have only gave you a, a, a very little bit of information about them, but it opened up this world where it's just like you completely got sucked in and it's like, I want to say like you guys are learning so much about each other and again, it brings out a different side of you where it's like you're this creative too. It's like a relationship wrapped around mystery, inspiration, and intrigue. It's like a world that you never knew. Like you never knew that this existed. You never knew that this world existed. You never knew that this, a person like this existed that can make you go this deep and find out more shit about yourself. I want to say like, again, cause it's like you, you, I, I don't even think that you even knew that you had it in you to create a moon sculpture out of cheese. Like, <laughs> you can do this but again it's like something new I just heard it's like a, a a grandiose explosion of happiness and joy and prosperity as well it's like you feel magical you feel like a beam of light you feel like you could create anything like it's something about Someone is like being gift. It's like a gift of magic. Because it's like the lightning with the moon and the book. It's like I enjoy this energy so much. It's like. I don't know if someone's teaching you magic or you're learning about your own inner magic or. Something. It's like something big like that. It's something, because you know the high priestess is like, she's very spiritual, she, but she only lets certain people in. So it's, I don't know if this uh, person that you met Taurus or the person that met Taurus is like very intuitive, very magical, is teaching you like the spice of life, like how to embrace your inner powers and how to call things to yourself how to create the life that you want to live it's the balance of the dark versus the light it's like maybe and you see again that's that crescent moon you see how she's sitting on that crescent moon you see that right and what is he doing he's creating his own so and again is he's learning and what does the high priestess do She's a teacher, but she's not like the Hierophant. She's very selective. Because everybody that come to her don't get what you are receiving. It's like she's taking an affinity and a liking to you. You know? I want to say, wow. It's like you guys create love and magic together. It's like you guys are creating a new world of possibilities. If that makes any sense. And I know it's like getting like a little, you know, deep. But it's like, I wanted this deep. I wanted this deep. Look, and then you got the Knight of Cups. Come on now. Come on now. I just heard like Taurus showing up ready. I Taurus showing up ready. A twist the bitch up like spaghetti. Don't play with Taurus. Please don't play with fucking Taurus. Give me two cards. You got the three of pentacles. Look, uh, uh, <laughs> look, I am adulting student. I am ready to learn. Listen, showing up on time is 15 minutes early, okay? I'm 15 minutes early to class. Okay. <laughs> and the ace of swords. Yes, I love it. I 
love it. Mm-hmm. You guys talk to each other a lot. You guys build each other up. You guys are investing into each other spiritually and physically. I want to say you guys have each other's back. Like with that sword right there. I, why, why, why I heard something like you guys are learning how to be sharp with technology. It's like your technical skills. Like you guys may be developing your technology skills. It's like you guys may be piggybacking, learning a lot off of each other. Like your creative skills are growing. And I want to say like uh, uh, you guys being a source of information that's developing too. I don't know, like you can, you guys could like have paid students or something like that. I did hear like a tuition. I heard like a tuition reimbursement program or something like that. Like whatever you paid, it like whatever you paid is going to be given back. As long as you utilize the information correctly. Like don't, you know what I'm saying? It's like. This is the correct source to disseminate the correct information so that, like, it's just like a good teacher because it's like the high priestess. So, Taurus, I want to say it's like you're getting some, like, some high level of information from the high priestess. You are definitely being, something is being taught down to you, like you are being... Educated. I want to say you 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 have different speaking points now. Um, like your point of view is sharper. And again, with that sword, it, it, it with it, it brings a lot of importance about integrity, about integrity, and like moral justice or something like that. Because the sword has a lot of responsibility. It's like, it's not used to hurt people. It's like, yeah, it's not used to hurt people. It's, um, the sword, it has is a lot of responsibility with the sword. Everybody can't just wield a sword. So it's something about... I just heard something about someone moving away... So that, cause I just when I, I seen it, it's like to study together to to later disseminate correct information. It's like it's people that is going to learn from you guys, cause they're saying learn from you too. I just heard it's like it's like um. Because you see how those wands are down on the ground. You see how those wands are down on the ground. So it's like. It's like you had to go somewhere else. And now I'm hearing the white light. I just heard like a white light pure frequency. You see how this it's like all of this white. You see all of this white, and it looks like she has like a, um, you know how people used to make paper bolts out of like a newspaper and stuff like that? So, cause it's like, I feel like disseminating information, cause you see how the, the boat is on her crown. So, again, it's like some understanding about transitions and movement. It's about education, growth, and being pure and disseminating truthful educational information. I don't know what the fuck this has to do about love, but I, it's like maybe you guys are, are like showing people how to do it or what real love is or what um, I want to say going off of your intuition. Um, trusting your faith it's like it's something about like honoring yourself a little bit here 
Cause it's because you gotta remember the high priestess, she has no problem with standing alone. She knows how to manifest. She knows what the future can hold as long as she focuses on her moral values, everything that she's taught herself, spoke focusing on her spiritual principles and her faith. She can have anything that she wants. She is very, very potent, um, very fertile. Like the high priestess has a lot to do with uh, very potent fertility. Very fertile. It's like just because she's alone, that doesn't mean that she don't bear fruit. She is very powerful. And like that's why she doesn't introduce herself to everybody. That's why she doesn't engage with everybody. That's why she doesn't, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's get these last messages and wrap this on up. What information do we have from the Rebel deck about this love connection? Because it it does it definitely seems like um, I feel, and again with this sword here, it looks like little shells are on the sword. Does look like little seashells, or like I want to say that this um this connection has taught you guys a lot of emotional intelligence, and it's like quality over quantity. Um, it, it's like it's like you with the Ace of Swords. It's like just the main one, just one as well. So it's like you guys could be just learning like um. Like true love, commitment, engagement, like just one. Okay. All right. Okay. Goodness gracious. Rebel Dad, give me some more cards since those just jumped out like that. Or well, is that all you want to say? I love being criticized, says no one ever. <laughs> <coughs> Your boundaries are trash. Keep shit clean. Okay. All right. And then at the top of the deck, I have off the bat, you are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. Again, you are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. So I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to put that right here. So there's two big messages here. Um, and I want to say it could have something to do with some past shit. But we got to address it because it hit the table. Because um, I definitely, there was some shit in the past that just happened. And there's new love here. There is some serious new love that is going to help you find shit deeper about yourself and about the person that you love and it looks like you guys are going to move in with each other there's going to be an engagement it may be shocking i want to say people are going to be surprised about who this is like once you do announce it like you got the ace <coughs> you got the ace of wands and the ace of swords <laughs> okay like baby it says i love being criticized says no one ever your boundaries are trash. Keep it clean. So again, remember when I said your relationship don't have nothing to do with other people. It's something about the person that you are going to end up with. It's going to be shocking. It's, it may not make sense to anybody else. Because I want to say like this person could be a loner. Or it's like it's something about this woman where she's so mysterious. Or people don't understand her. It's like, like who gives a fuck? Who cares? <laughs> like, is it, it? I met this person for me to work with this person, for me to learn something, and for me to build something with this person. Who gives a fuck about what y'all think about this person? This person is pure. And you see, with that boat at the top, it's like you know 
that this person came into your life to teach you something, to provide something to you, to help you grow. Because the Three of Pentacles, again, it's like receiving some type of help. Like you already had the Two of Pentacles, but God gave you a helping hand. It's like, I'm sending you. Because like literally the, the Three of Pentacles could be a teacher. Could be like a third party coming in to help. You get some understanding so that you can get to the next level. So it's like God could have put you two together so that you can receive what you needed to receive to get to the four pinnacles. Because the four pinnacles is like where well, you truly value what you have and you ain't giving it up for anybody. I'm not giving it. I'm saving this shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I want this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sharing. Like, you don't want to share. Do y'all feel me? It's like Taurus don't want to share. I don't want to share. I don't know why. I was, it, it's like this person. It's like taught Taurus value. Taurus learned something. Commitment. A life long lasting love you are loved you are loved you are here for a reason don't fuck it up like Taurus know what the fuck they doing okay I love being criticized since no one ever your boundaries are trash keep that shit clean anybody that don't understand what they're doing what you're doing that criticizes you any type of way guess what Guess what Taurus is doing? Because they know that their boundaries has been trashed before. They're cleaning that shit up. I like being criticized. Why the fuck you think that I would have people around me that's going to criticize me and my happiness? And what? Bitch, get the fuck. Remember I told you, people not going to be invited to your new house. You might just outright stop communicating with certain people. It's like certain people have no place in your happiness. Remember when I told you that you were putting them wands down? Anything that has anything to do with your past life, you ain't even taking that shit forward. It says, keep that shit to yourself. Block those bad vibes. Gross bathrooms and dirty floors suck. So it's something about, it. it whoever these people was, it was, something was not clean in the water anyway. Or like they like, it's like it's a dirty individual. It's like you, you. You wouldn't want to frequent their vicinity anyway. I got a clean house. I have a clean vibe, a clear understanding of what God wants me to do. You're not about, you're not about to come and fuck up my shit. You're not going to come and muck up my blessings with your criticism, with your nasty ass energy. Your house is dirty itself. God don't bless no mess. Why would I let that dirty ass energy into my humble abode with my beautiful queen or my beautiful husband or whatever the fuck that I got looking for for me? What? It's something about Taurus's boundaries of being self-checked right now. Especially anybody that is criticizing any fucking thing. Anything when you live in a glass house and I can see that you ain't shit yourself. And you dirty. You nasty. Okay? So whoever this is with all this criticism, they may need to look at their own self and clean up their own fucking fortress. So don't worry about no judgments from people that live in a dirty ass house they self. Checkmate, bitch. Okay? Hello. Okay? Keep your fucking blessings to yourself, Taurus. I said that. I said that because remember I told you like the, the high priestess is secretive. It ain't because everybody don't need to be in your fucking business. Period. Because everybody ain't going to understand your happiness. Everybody ain't going to understand your growth, baby. Baby, it looked like you happy as fuck to me. <laughs> what? What? 
keep that shit. All this right here, keep that shit to yourself, baby. Listen, you were loved. You were loved. You were here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. Don't bring that dirty shit in your house. Don't bring them dirty individuals in your house. Keep, listen, keep all that shit to yourself. Don't nobody like to be criticized and hated on. Motherfuckers is haters. Block those bad vibes. Because in the past, your boundaries have been trashed. You shouldn't even have nobody like that around you. Gross. Bad. Look, keep your energy clean. Motherfuckers with dirty ass houses don't even have no business being around you. Okay? So this next group of cards says, move the fuck on. Change yourself first. Trust. Share your crazy ass dreams, wishes, and passions. So, <clears throat> what are we talking about here? I feel like this has something to do with like your your peer, your 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 friend group. Cause remember, I I said something about like you having this new beginning, and it's like you standing on this shit. It's like when you finally do speak, and you inform people of your new lifestyle and and, and all of this stuff like that. It's coming with the sword. <laughs> it's coming. With the fucking swore. I want to say it's like you may make a big announcement just to see how people react. So you can figure out who. who Because the snakes always go and pop their head up out of the grass. And you can easily cut the head off the snake with the truth and enlightenment. Okay? Because you ain't shit. You live in a dirty ass motherfucking house. You ain't invited to my shit. And I just wanted you to show who the fuck you was. Because you ain't stopping my happiness, bitch. I'm going to continue to press around this motherfucker and celebrate and speak my truth. And anybody got a problem with it, we'll meet the sword. So, I, I listen, I don't know who these people are. I don't know if this is family members or friends, whoever this is. But don't be surprised if you... You going to know what side of the table you are. It, 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 if you were invited into towards his happiness or not. So don't rock the boat because Taurus gonna flip the boat over. That's all I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you people gonna get cut. People about to get cut. Especially once this shit start going right here. This shit right here. A lot of people is about to get cut because Taurus is about to enjoy this relationship in silence. They are changing themselves first. It's something about that they have somebody in their life that they can grow with. They can learn from. That they can share. That they trust this person and they can share all their crazy ass ideas and passions and joys that they want to do. That they want to be with this person and this person is going to help them be that. Look, it says bear your fucking soul. It's like God has sent them someone that can help them to grow to be who they want. It's like someone that really fucking support them. And it's like, and again, like the, the high priestess don't go and announce everything she about to do. She just do that shit in silence. People could catch up with what she doing later. And I might tell you, bitch, and I might not. Because why in the fuck would I share my secrets to my success with a whole bunch of unworthy ass individuals? That's what the... Yeah, yo! 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 <laughs> this bitch right here, beast. I don't know who this is, Taurus. Or I, I don't know who the... Look! You learning a lot from this motherfucker. Quality over quantity. A new happy loving life and how to protect that shit. With everything. With everything. Trust. Share your crazy ass dreams, wishes, and passions with this person. Bear your fucking soul. Watch everything happen in a multitude of happiness. Like shit gonna happen fast. Look. 
the two suits in tarot that shows rapid quickness is wands and swords. <laughs> this shit about to pop, yo. You are changing yourself first. You're moving the fuck on. And again, with the Three of Pentacles, it has to do with you investing in yourself and hanging around people that are investing in you, that are pouring into you. And I just heard free tuition. You ain't even got to pay no tuition. Like, whatever you give, it is going to be given back to you. It says, want different shit? Time to let go. Y'all hear that, Taurus? Whoever these people were, hey Taurus, it, put this in the chat right now. Do y'all y'all know exactly who the fuck God is talking about right now that you gotta let go? It's people that would not under. It's not meant for them to understand. That's why God is telling you to keep this shit to yourself, bro, and carry the sword. Enjoy your engagement. Enjoy. The creativity of this engagement and what you guys are doing for each other. This is something that you prayed for. Your whole life is changing right before yours and everybody else's very eyes. And it ain't their business how you got it, how you going to keep it, how you maintaining it, or why they ain't invited to it. Block those bad vibes. Listen, you want different shit. It's time to let go of this old shit. Taurus, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Move the fuck on. Change yourself first. And that's, what is this? This is schooling. This is high education. This is you learning. This is in the upright. You know. And I promise you, once you start here, you receiving this help, you receiving this aid, you receiving this generosity like this. The three of pentacles go to the four of pentacles. You're going to hold on to that shit for dear life. You ain't giving that shit up for nobody. Nothing to nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you keeping all of that shit to yourself. You ain't sharing none of this shit with nobody. <laughs> Just, I got to go. And don't that sound like some tourist shit because y'all stingy to the bitch. I love y'all. <laughs> This was motherfucking amazing. Listen, you are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. I'll see y'all next month. Peace.